welcome back to my channel. So today I have my January Birchbox unboxing and I actually opened it a few days ago. I just haven't had the time to film and I couldn't resist looking inside even though I already knew what was coming because I always look online. But this is what the box looks like. I thought it was pretty cute. It says 2016, the year of blank. And then it came with all these little stickers you can stick on um, that look like this. And I just thought that was a really cute idea. And yeah, let's get to what is inside. Right, the first thing I got is a perfume sample from Oribe. It says it's the Cote d'Azur Eau de Parfum. And it says it is a blend of bergamot, white butterfly, jasmine, and warm sandalwood. And that sounds like it might be right up my alley. I actually didn't smell it yet, so... Fortunately, it's not one that has a sprayer, so... This smells really nice. I really like it. Um, you can definitely smell like the bergamot, which I really enjoy. It's a little bit, you know, citrusy and fruity, but not too much. It's very classy too, I would say. So I really like this and I'm excited to use up this vial. It's a pretty big vial, I think, so I think it will definitely last a while. Next up was my sample choice, and that was the Ipkin New York Radiant Primer Flash Cream. So this is just a, I guess, a luminizing primer. It has SPF 15. It is sealed, and I'm going to leave it like that because I'm not ready to use it yet. I'm working on a Benefit Professional right now, but I'll probably go for this after I'm done because I just kind of like to move my primer samples in as soon as I get them since I don't really have any more. So yeah, I'm looking forward to giving this a shot, but I haven't tried it yet. Then I got the Foreo Foreo Night Cleanser, which is a meteor, it says a celestial melting gel meteorite powder. It says apply in the evening to a dry face, massage into skin with a Luna device or wet fingertips and rinse. So I guess it can kind of remove makeup and stuff, so I'll definitely start using this at night. Right now, I only have one cleanser, I think, here with me at least. Um, I have one back at home, so I've just been using that, so I'll try to go for this to remove my makeup, and I'll let you guys know what I think next month. Then I got a Parlor by Jeff Shastain to tingling leave-in conditioner, and I have so many leave-in conditioner samples, but I'll definitely get to this at some point. I'll try to use it a few times at least, so I can let you guys know what I think. It does smell really nice though, so I will try a few times and then I'll go back to trying to use up the one I'm working on right now, but I will have a review next month. And then finally I got this cream eyeshadow stick from Cargo. It's called the Swimmables Shadow Stick in the shade Driftwood. And this is really pretty. You can see right here. It kind of reminds me of the NYX one I have in, I think, Almond, but a little bit... I don't have that one with me. It's I left that one at home. So I don't have one like this with me, so I will probably get some use out of it. But I do have a lot of shadow sticks, so it looks nice in the um, the day my box came. I did a swatch like this on my hand, and I never really washed it off, and it was still there the next morning. So I definitely think it will last. So that was everything in my January box, and now I'll let you know what I thought of the items in my December box. So I just looked at my channel and apparently I never uploaded my December video. I remember filming it. I filmed it on my phone after I got home from work because the sun was going down and then I had to work on my paper. So I remember that I filmed it, but I don't think I ever uploaded the footage to my computer so it might be gone forever because it's not on my phone anymore. So this will be also, I guess, what I got in my December birch box. So the first item I got was the Benefit Their Real Tinted Lash Primer and that's a brown lash primer. I have been using it. I do like it. it I, I don't know that I like it a lot on its own. It says you can kind of use it on its own. It does really lengthen my lashes, but it doesn't add a lot of volume. But I have been wearing it under the Their Real Mascara, and I really like it so far. I've also used it under the Roller Lash, and, you know, I think it's nice, but I don't know if it's necessarily that different than just doing you know, two coats of the mascara itself. It's not something I'll probably ever purchase, but I have actually have two of the little tubes. I got one from Sephora as well. So I will be happily use them up, but I don't know if I would necessarily go and spend the money on it. Next up, I got a little quad or duo, I don't remember. I think it was a duo of eyeshadows from Coastal Scents. I got like the black and gray smoky 
that I came in. A, I know a lot of pe everyone got one, and I think they were all in different colors, and mine was like the smoky version. And to be honest, I just threw that right in the trash. I knew that I wouldn't use it, especially the colors that I got. And you know, I've gotten those Coastal Scents samples in the past. I've tried them. You know, they have they're nice, but I have enough eyeshadow that I never end up using those things, so I just threw it away. Um, I also got the L'Oreal Mystic Oil Nourishing Mask, which is like a deep conditioning mask, and I really, really like that. I did use that a few times before I came here. I didn't bring it with me, but I did really enjoy it. So I would consider... Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> I just saw the price of the Birchbox website right down here, and it's $37. So I probably won't ever buy it, but I'll definitely enjoy the heck out of my little my little tub of it and it's actually a pretty big tub so it's a very generous sample so I'll get a ton of use out of that but I don't know that I would ever spend $37 on a hair mask. Next I got a Juara Coconut Hand and Nail Balm and I haven't opened that yet. I think I tried it once though just to smell it and it wasn't super, it smelled nice but it wasn't overwhelming or anything. I'll definitely get to that but I'm just trying to go through some other hand creams right now. And then finally I got the Serge Normand Dream Big Instant Volumizing Spray. And I tried that the day my box came and I hated it. It made my hair feel really like, like coated and product. I don't like that feeling and very kind of like not crunchy, but like it just felt like there was gunk in my hair and I really, really hate that. So I'll probably be decluttering that as well because I'm just not a fan of that type of product. So that is my reviews of everything I got in December, and I will be back next month to let you know what I thought of my January items and show you what I got in my February box. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye!